What is up everyone, in today's video I am going to be finally telling you how you do cogs in discord.py 2.0 Doing it in 2.0 is a bit different as you have to wait it and use the async Okay, so if you're using discord.1.0 just quickly do bot.add underscore cog And then just put in like um, the name of the file we're going to make So just do ping and then do bot like this So yeah So first off we're going to create uh, a folder And then inside this we're just going to create a file called ping We're just going to do a normal ping command and as well, we're also going to put a um, listener in here, which is a event. Okay, so now we've done this. We're not going to write anything here. We'll do that last. Uh, we're just going to do the code for the to get the, the file. So first do async, async def, and then just write load. And then um, you're just going to do for file name in OS. So make sure you import OS. And then you're going to do dot uh, list, list directory, basically. And then you're just going to do dot slash cogs. So basically dot slash just opens um, this cogs file here. And then we're just going to do if the file name. So if the file name dot and it ends with uh, dot py. So uh, dot py. And then we're just going to load the extension. So how we do this is pretty simple. Why did I do that? Um, so how we do this is we're just going to do a wait bot.load extension and then we're just going to do an f string we're going to say cogs so which is the the folder and then we're just going to do um dot and then brackets and then we're going to get the file name and then we're just going to do uh brackets again and we're going to um get the last uh three or the third thingy oh, i don't know but let's do this and then uh once you have done that that should be it uh there's something oh yeah i forgot about the curly bracket at the end there and just like that. Now, once you have done that, we're also going to do our async main, which is going to load this. So basically, it's going to load this as well. We're going to put the token inside it. So how we do this is pretty simple. So we're going to do async def. We're going to do main. And then we're just going to do a wait load. And while we're doing this, we might as well do the bot.run. So um, you don't have to, but we're just going to do it anyway. So we do bot.start. And then we're just going to paste in this uh just like that and then once we have done that we're just gonna delete this and we're just gonna write async o so make sure you import this and you're just gonna do dot run and we're gonna run the main i mean you will have to do this i mean because we need to run this as well so just do dot run and then just do um main like this and then uh that should be it so when you do load up your um if you do run you should get no errors uh, you will get an error by having set up the file. I'm an idiot. All right, so we're just going to import everything. So we're just going to import Discord, and then we're just going to import from Discord.exe. We're just going to import the commands. All right, now we're going to be making a class. So we're just going to call this class ping. So just like that, class ping. And then we're just going to put commands.cog inside this. And then we're just going to do def underscore init. Uh, just like that. And then we're also going to put bot inside, as we need to get reference to the bot. And then once we have done that, we're just going to do self.bot is equal to bot, just like that. And now we can start making the commands. So let's make the event real quick. So how you do this is this dot commands dot cog dot listener. So basically it's just an event. So you, once you put that, you could just use how you normally use event. But you are going to have to do something different though, um, which is async def um, on underscore ready. When you use cogs, you all oh, don't put that there. You always have to put self before you put anything else after it. So we put self and then we put um well just self because it's just that. And then once we have done that, I have done something wrong. What have I done wrong? That is what I've done wrong. I put all the way over there. And then we're just gonna do print bot is online just like that. Now we can make the commands. So if we just do at commands dot command just like that, and then we can just do async def and then ping. And then just make sure you put self in there and ctx. And then you could just do await ctx.send. And you can just do pong, just like that. And now we have done that, we're going to have to um, put uh, make sure this can load the cog. So how we do this is um, async def. And then we're just going to do setup. And we're going to put a bot inside here. And we're going to do await bot.add uh, underscore cog. And then we're just going to put ping. So the name of your class. So our name of class is called ping. And then we're just going to do bot. Just like that. And now once we have done that, everything should be working. And if we just play the bot, it should say bot is online. Fingers crossed. Yeah, there we go. Bot is online. 
Now, if we head over to our Discord server and we just type in ping, it should say pong, as you see there. Guys, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Um, by the way, if you do want to add more uh, commands, literally just create a new file, copy and paste this section here, change this to whatever you want. So just like, let's say games, and then just do all the commands you want down here. And this will just grab your cog and it will just register it over here.